Okay. Well, I'm the I'm the first mate. And I am not nearly as lovely as our captain, but I have decided to start blogging our adventures. You might get a couple other people blogging our adventures. Um so we'll see what's going on since we left. Well, first I should probably point out we left off that that place that looks like a you know the one that's shaped like a boot? And you need the pasta. We left off the coast of there. Uh, long story about how I ended up there. Um, we're not going to get into it right now. But I stowed on Captain's ship. And I met her. She's amazing. And I'm her first mate, even though she says I'm not allowed to go near her. But she's just is a joke. I go near her. Oh, I think I hear her calling me right now. You know what? Um, I will be back. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, she didn't actually call me. Um, but she said something really funny. She said, she, I came into her room, right, and she, this is exactly what she said. She's like, you get out of here right now while I am changing. Why are you in my room while I'm changing? Why are you sitting there staring at me like you're crazy? Get out of my room or I'm throwing you overboard. But she's so funny. She does it all the time when I, when I, she wakes up and I'm like right by her bed while she's taking a nap. She tries to, she's, she's so funny. Anyway, so we weren't moving for the first couple hours, and nobody could figure out why. We were all scrambling about the ship. But then our captain, the wonderful lady she is, looked over the side of the ship. We didn't lift our anchor up. Now only somebody as smart as the captain could figure that out. I mean, who else could have figured out that we left the anchor down? No one. No one. She's a genius. Genius. So. On the other things, well, we've been floating in the ocean for a couple of weeks. Um, I've been told that the ocean is blue, but this one does not look very blue. It looks kind of like gray murk. I can't see anything. I mean, I can see nothing, and I, you know what? I, I bent over the side of the ship. I picked up something I thought was a stick. It was an arm. It was an arm. And so I tried to keep it to maybe as a pet, you know, arms make good pets, and, but our maid wouldn't let me, she said it was a sanitarial problem, I don't see how it's a sanitarial problem, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure the hand washes its hand all the time, I mean, it's a hand, how can it not wash its hand, right? Well, anyways, that's not the issue, yeah, so, I have to go, um, I have to cut I have to give the captain her haircut, which happens to be during her nap time. She planned it that way. I give her her haircuts while she sleeps. And then I make wigs and stuff out of them so I can pretend to be her. But it's cool. She wants me to. I mean, I gotta practice in case I become captain. Which, God rest her soul if she dies. I don't think I'd be able to take it. Which is why she's gonna die. I'm gonna be the one to have to kill her. Because nobody else can touch her. Which is why. She's, she's mine to kill. Mine. Well anyways, bye!